Well, better stop the dance party. Hi, I'm Damian Lux, and I'm here um, just to tell you a little bit about why the FEM conference is important to me. Um, I work on the media committee, and this is my second year working on the FEM conference, and 2012 is going to be my fourth conference. Um, I first went to the FEM conference when it was in San Francisco in 2006. Um, and it was a big deal for me because it was the first time I'd ever been on a plane um, because, you know, planes are expensive. And when you are working class, trying to get a plane ticket is kind of hard. Um, so why did I decide to hustle, um, which is what I was doing at the time, why did I decide to hustle to get a plane ticket to go to the FEM conference? Um, because it seemed to me that there was something in there that was going to answer some questions for me um, that I had about my place in the queer world. Um, and going to the first FEM conference that I went to in 2006 was really formative and important to me. Um, it gave me a lot of information. It set me straight on some things that I was wrong about. Um, for example, in the FEM conference in 2006 was the first time that I learned that um, FEMs could be of all genders. Not everybody knows everything, right? But together we know a lot. So my community taught me some things that I needed to know. Um, so that was great. Also, I met really cool people. I made friends who I still hang out with to this day. Um, you know, there was like art contacts and performance contacts that I got to make. Um, but I think the most important thing for me when I went to my first FEM conference, um, was seeing FEMs of like all stripes, all makes and models, all genders, all bodies, um, all kinds of races, all, you know, all kinds of FEMs of all ages too. Um, FEMs with body hair, FEMs with short hair, FEMs in boots, FEMs in heels, FEMs in like wedge caps, um, just seeing all kinds of FEMs being fierce and powerful. Boom, done. And being powerful in ways that were really complicated. Right? Because as I've thought about it over all these various years that I thought about what is femme and femininity and bodies and gender and all this stuff, and I think it's, you know, complicated. Um, but the way that I think about femme is that femme is a relationship of femininity to power. Right? That doesn't mean that it's always about power over. It can be power with, you know? It doesn't, it's not always, um, you know, like power, like ferocity, right? There's a power and vulnerability too, you know? It's just about a relationship of femininity and power. And those things can live in any kind of body, in any kind of gender, in any kind of sexuality, right? But it is still something about um, owning what an element of our identity and experience is and putting that out in a world that said, uh, putting that out into the world in a way that says like, you know what? I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. And anyway, um, so yeah, the Femme Conference for me is really about seeing other people in their power in ways that are complicated, in ways that are cool, and in ways that inspire me. So that's what I got out of going to my first Femme Conference. And for the one that we're about to have, Femme 2012, pulling the pieces together in Baltimore, um, I expect, well, that and more. So I hope that folks get a chance to come um, to join us. If you can't join us, um, I hope you get a chance to check out some of the live streaming that's going to happen, technology, um, or to check out some of the photos to participate in online conversations. Um, and just to remember that uh, nobody knows what femme looks like. Nobody knows what the femme uh, experience is because there's so many kinds of femmes. There are so many femme experiences, right? And to me, that's what's really exciting about the conference is seeing all of that. So keep cool. Um, keep having fun. I'm Damian Lux. I'm talking about Femme 2012.